Well, Eric, they never made any jump shots. I'm not sure if they're better going left or going right. But basketball fans in the area are going to be uh, missing two Hall of Famers at the end of this week. Louisville Sports Information Director and Senior Athletic Director Kenny Klein is retiring after a remarkable nearly 40-year run at UofL. And Jerry Tipton, our friend down at the Lexington Herald Leader who's covered the Wildcats since the early 80s and is also in a couple of Hall of Fames, is stepping away as the UK beat writer for the Herald Leader. Yeah, those beat jobs, you don't last very long because you're at every game all the time. It's year round, it's every day, especially with something like Kentucky basketball or Louisville basketball. I know I did the Louisville beat for four or five years. It was about all I could take. And Jerry's done it for decades and decades and decades. He's done it at a U.S. Basketball Writers Hall of Fame level. Great career. And Kenny, all he's done has been the best in the country at what he does. You know, as covering Louisville sports for 22 years, could not have done it without Kenny Klein. His professionalism, his integrity, when he told you something, you knew you could count on it. Yeah, and the two things that jump out at me are, one is, as you know, both those guys, the first ones to get to the press room and the last ones to leave. They were tireless. They weren't looking at the clock. They weren't counting their comp days. They just were workers. There's no doubt about that. And secondly, they have institutional knowledge, and that's going to hurt fans in this area. They've both been at the schools for 40 decades. These days, people change jobs every two or three years. They've been there for 40 years. I think all readers and all media benefit from their institutional knowledge. All the best to both Kenny Klein and Jerry Tipton in their well-deserved retirements. We have coverage here at WDRB and WDRB.com.